Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin, and we are heard right here on the Impact Lounge. Wanted to uh, jump on today and talk about a few things, uh, so let's get right into it. On the next uh, Impact Wrestling show, next Tuesday, uh, the North will be will be back in action, and they have mystery opponents. And there's a, there's a debate on social media. Uh, I think it was the Impact Wrestling fan page. Um, somebody put up a post saying, who, who do you think... Uh, are going to be the opponents for uh, for the North, and I people are, are writing in the revival, uh, the ascension, uh, Luke Gallows um, and uh, Carl Anderson, possibly the opponents. Uh, they some people said, "Oh, I hope it's it's the Deaners." Uh, well, I can tell you right now, um, I'm I'm confident that it's not going to be any of those teams uh, to be the mystery opponents for the North. Um, because first of all, let's let's be realistic. It's not going to be the revival. It's not going to be the ascension, and it's not going to be uh, Gallows and Anderson. Uh, it's it needs to be a team that are located up in Canada because this match apparently is taken up and taking place in Canada uh, because Ethan Page, Josh Alexander, this whole pandemic they can't travel to the states, and anybody that's in the states can't travel to Canada. So the wrestlers need to be in Canada. So my 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 thoughts are this. It's going to be my prediction is going to be one of three teams. Okay, one of three teams. Now I don't I don't have any um I don't have any uh, any spoilers on this. I don't know. And I actually uh, I actually spoke with Josh Alexander today. Uh, we spoke for a bit, and I, I tried to get it out of him. I said, "Who's who? Who are the opponents going to be?" And his answer was just, "You'll find out on Tuesday." Uh, so he not giving up who the opponents are, which is which is fine, which is fine. Uh, so um, I, I gave him my predictions, and again, he wouldn't he wouldn't budge. He's told, told me that. Uh, um, Tuesday, you'll find out who our opponents are, which is, like I said, which is fine. So I think it's going to be one of these three teams. Uh, since it's going to be Canada, the top team in Canada right now is a team called uh, TDT, La Tabernacle de Team. Uh, they are Matthew St. Jacques and uh, Thomas Dubois. They were they were um, on Impact Wrestling um, some time ago in a squash match against a team I, I can't um, I can't remember I can't remember who it was, but they were on a while ago. But they're a fantastic team and. I would love to see them getting a shot at the North up here in Canada. That would be a great match. And and hopefully, if they are the team, that Scott Demore, Don Callis will sign TDT because that's they're a terrific tag team. Uh, another team I was thinking about possibly um, would be um, Joe Coleman, Idris Abraham, uh, Halal Beefcake. Uh, another terrific team up here. Um, I believe they're the Smash Wrestling Tag Team Champions. I could be wrong there. They, they might have dropped the titles, but uh, great tag team up here as well. I've seen them a number of times. Uh, and they, of course, you know, you've seen Joe Coleman and I, Idris Abraham um, on on um, Impact Wrestling uh, individually. Actually, I, they were on. They they were on as a tag team once. Uh, was uh, the Windsor Show where they took on RJ City and um, and uh, David Arquette. But I think that actually, I think that was a a Border City Wrestling show. I don't think that was the Impact. It might have been a joint show, but but still, that that was the time that uh, they were uh, a tag team. That that would be a, a good match as well. Another team I'm thinking of is possibly Aiden Prince teaming with either El Reverso or Brent Banks. Uh, so I, I'm predicting one of those three teams. And any of those three teams, uh, I think TDT or Halal Beefcake makes the most sense because they're actual tag teams. Aiden Prince and Brent Banks, they were the Border City Racing Tag Team Champions, so they teamed for a while. They've dropped the title uh, recently to... Um uh, to the Desi Hit Squad, uh, so um, they're they're kind of a tag team. Aiden Prince, El Reverso, not really a team. So that that's the dark horse there. Uh, it, it could be it could be a different team. It could be a, I could be I could be totally wrong, and it could be completely somebody else. Like maybe they could find uh, some guys um, that aren't known to the Impact Wrestling crowd. It, it could be I don't know. It could be uh, Holden Albright, and uh, who can they put with them? And uh, Gabriel Fuerza. That that could be the team. Um, though these are guys that are up here in uh, in Ontario, so we'll see, we'll find out. I just hope, I just hope whoever it is, 
whatever the match is, I should say. I hope it's not a match that was taped on an indie show like three, four, five, six months ago where the North defended the Impact titles against um, a, an indie team. Uh, I, I just hope they don't go that route. Uh, if they do, they do. But I, I hope we get a fresh new match that was taped recently up here in Canada and I got my fingers crossed for TDT that's that's the team I want to see that's the team I want to see uh, the North again so I got my fingers crossed and it would be a very smart move uh, to I was I would say I was gonna say introduce but reintroduce uh, TDT to the Impact Wrestling crowd because they're a terrific team. I'm not saying that if they're the team they're good, that they're going to beat the North because they're not going to beat the North, uh, but they'll give them a hell of a match. And hopefully, if they are in fact the team, that they'll be signed to Impact Wrestling. I think they will be a great addition to Impact Wrestling. All right, let's move on. Let's move on to um, uh, let's move on to to Moose and TNA. A lot of people have gotten excited. A lot of people have gotten excited over uh, this whole TNA thing. Uh, if you go on social media, everyone's like TNA, 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 uh, TNA is back, and they're uh, they're they're jumping for joy, and people are saying the six sided ring. Let's bring the six sided ring back, and guy uh, people are saying, oh, one guy said, yeah, TNA is back, so I can watch again. First of all, give me a break. Give me a break. What do you What do you mean? <laughs> what What do you mean? TNA is back, so you can watch again. You mean you weren't watching before? You mean you weren't watching before? You know, just because it's it they they changed the name to Impact Wrestling, you stop watching. But now it's because it's back because it might go back to TNA or or you saw you saw the TNA belt around Moose's waist, and now suddenly it's like, oh, TNA is back. Now I can watch again. Hey, what do you think? You're gonna tune in. You're gonna tune in, and just magically you're gonna see um the 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 stars that made TNA great, like AJ Styles and Samoa Joe and Kurt Angle and Christopher Daniels. You think you're gonna see those guys? You know, you're gonna see this, the the talent that they have now. That's who you're gonna see. So if you weren't watching impact wrestling because they called it impact but now you feel like oh i can watch now because it's tna again you know just it's 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 stupid it's stupid because you're gonna get you're not gonna get anybody different you're not gonna see anybody if you might see you might see hernandez okay you might see uh, you might see who else um chase stevens you might see uh him pop up you'll see suicide yeah that, those are the guys you're gonna see but you're gonna i know you're gonna see the regular impact guys as well uh so don't give me that Garbage at all. Oh, it's called TNA against so Noiko Hotch. You should have been watching all along. Uh, anyway, but but like I said, people are people are jumping for joy. Like I said, because the TNA is back, and you know it's getting a lot of positive, a lot of positive reaction over social media. But I think this this could be uh, this could be a little dangerous. You know, and, and the reason why I'm saying this is, could be a little dangerous is you've created the buzz. You've create they create the buzz with TNA. I personally, uh, I'm still not sold on this whole TNA belt thing. Uh, but um, but it, uh, when I say it's a little dangerous, is with all this buzz that's created, when when um, TNA when it dies down and you do the the unification match or whatever and and it's then the the Impact Wrestling Champion is no more TNA title, which is the route they're probably going to take and then people are going to get all upset again all upset again oh what tna uh yeah you had tna and you and you blew it again and you're going to get a lot of angry people a lot of trolls jumping on and saying oh i love tna blah 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 you know it's just forget it. they just got to get away from the past man i'm sorry you got to get away from the past that, that's that's the way i see it uh and um people with the six-sided ring uh you're not going to see the six-sided ring a lot of people are calling for oh let's bring back the six-sided ring you're not going to get the six-sided ring back it's not coming back it's going to be a four-sided um four-sided normal ring you're not getting the six-sided ring back so let's 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 kill our hopes for that right now you know maybe and no i won't even say maybe the impact should not bring it back at all because if they show it once then People are gonna go absolutely ballistic, and they're gonna want that ring back. And you have to get away from the past. You have to get away from the past. Impact Wrestling is doing really well right now as Impact Wrestling, and they got away get away from the from the TNA past, in my opinion. People are calling for a TNA invasion. Oh, I hope we see a TNA invasion of Impact Wrestling. First of all, let's 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 think about this for a second. Let's think about this for a second. How how is a TNA invasion gonna work? 
First of all, you got Moose, who's got the TNA title. Fine, but who who is he gonna who is he gonna, <laughs> who is he gonna bring along with him uh, for this for this invasion angle that that a lot of people are asking for right now? Who are they gonna bring with him? What, what is he gonna? Her, okay, you got Hernandez. Hernandez not bad, but then where do you go from there? Where do you give Kid Cash a call? Uh, you're gonna give uh, Chase Stevens a call. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna call up Shark Boy. Say, hey, Shark Boy, uh, we're doing a TNA invasion. Why don't you come join us? Uh, so then, so we'll have Moose leading the charge with with Hernandez, Kid Cash, Chase Stevens, Shark Boy, and uh, whoever else uh, they could they could find. Uh, who who else could they? Maybe they could get Eric Bischoff's son, Garrick Bischoff, could uh, could jump in. Uh, who else could they could they get? Because uh, because you're not getting AJ Styles. Not, people, I think people are are thinking of the the big names uh, the big names you're not you're not gonna get them okay let's say um let's let's say uh people say well there's, there's a chance of getting kurt angle and and you could get eric young that's fine that's fine but but they're not you're not gonna see them on this set of tapings because this set of tapings are done and we have about what seven weeks left of uh of fresh tapings left so that's a lot of content and 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 if they do sign uh, Eric Young, and if they if they are able to somehow get Kurt Angle in, uh, we won't see them for about seven weeks. And um, by that time, this whole Angle thing will be over. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing this whole Angle thing's going to end um, at the end of these tapings, and uh, we'll we'll see that unification. And hopefully, within seven weeks, everything will, could be back to normal. We could be wrestling in front of crowds again, and uh, they could have a pay per view, and then we could have the unification. And uh, I, I thought Michael Elgin was going to be the next um, Impact Wrestling Champion, but I'm changing my mind. I think it's going to be Moose. I think Moose is going to is going to be um, the the next uh, Impact Wrestling Champion. I think he's going to unify the titles. Uh, again, the whole TNA title thing, like I said before, I'm not completely sold on, uh, but I'm not taking anything away from Moose. He's absolutely tremendously talented talented in the ring, um, one of my favorite wrestlers right now. Uh, so um, I'll, see how it, I'll see how it plays out. I'll see how it plays out. Uh, who knows, maybe two, three weeks down the road, I'll, my mind will be changed about this whole thing. Um, See how it see how it goes, uh, but uh, yeah. But uh, if anyone can pull it off, um, it's definitely Moose. It's definitely Moose. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes down the road. Actually, something very interesting happened today. Another WWE release. Curtis Axel, Joe Henning, Kurt Henning's son, was released by the WWE today, and I was thinking he would be outstanding addition to Impact Wrestling. An outstanding addition to Impact Wrestling. Extremely talented wrestler that the WWE absolutely did not know what the F to do with him. Did not know what the F. It seemed like you know a few years back he won the Intercontinental Championship. Uh, I believe he had Paul Heyman with him. It looked like he was going in the right direction. Uh, they finally figured out what to do with him, but but nope, nope. Just, they didn't know what to do. And uh, completely wasted a very very talented individual and i really think if he can get to impact wrestling if they could bring him in we've have someone that could be another ec3 another ec3 for for impact wrestling just like ec3 um what was what was named derek bateman um they they didn't use him very well as derek bateman comes to impact wrestling becomes ec3 becomes a star of course, goes back to WWE, and they don't know what the f to do with him. And now he's rumored to go to AEW or back to Impact Wrestling. Uh, but uh, Curtis Axel, uh, don't think of be using that name. Probably just go to Joe Henning. Would be absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I'm talking about Impact Wrestling World Championship material. Uh, so they should really, really think about signing Joe Henning. And I'm using his name, Joe Henning, uh, because. Um, he probably won't be able to use Curtis Axel. Uh, so hopefully uh, they're taking a good look at him because I'd, I'd love to see him in Impact Wrestling. Okay, let's go on to um, a few things that um, people are saying, some stupid things people are saying on social media. I just want to touch uh, touch upon this for a little bit. Um, 
I don't know if you saw the picture of Moose, Impact Wrestling put the picture of Moose, and he had some colorful tassels wrapped around his arms. Suddenly, suddenly people think that uh, he's trying to be the ultimate warrior. Uh, there was, I don't know. And he had, like, the moose, um, he had, like, the, the moose horns on his trunk kind of look like the ultimate warrior face paint. Uh, so everyone is saying, oh, he's trying to be the ultimate warrior. They say, oh, look, look at Moose. Uh, they call him the, they're calling him the Moose Warrior, and, and that, let's not be stupid. Let's not be dumb. Let's not compare the two, okay? This is just because he has a few colorful tassels around his arms, it doesn't mean that uh, he's he's trying to be the ultimate warrior. This dumb comment, another another dumb comment, another dumb comment somebody made is they called uh, Moose, they called Moose a discount, a discount Apollo Cruz. That's just the dumb asinine statement, a really stupid statement. It's too com too. Two completely different wrestlers. If anything, it's the other way around. You know, and I, I don't know much about Apollo Crews. I know he's in the WWE. I don't know what he's doing right there. I don't. I don't know if he's in NXT or where he is. Or, um, but uh, this, this is, Moose is a major star. Moose is a major star. He's not a discount to anybody, and and that's especially Apollo Crews. Come on. Yeah, I, I don't understand. People, people could be just so dumb. I don't know if these people are just trying looking for attention, if they're looking for someone to talk to. Uh, but if you're looking for someone to talk to, just say, "Hey, I'm an Impact Wrestling fan. I, I need someone to talk to." And you know what? I'll, if I see that, I'll talk to you. All right? Don't you don't need to make dumb statements to to um, to to beg for attention or in or hope somebody communicates with you. It's just it's just stupid. Uh, but the worst one, the worst one I saw, the, the worst one I saw was some some guy writes, um, uh, wow, TNA is bad. Laughing emoji. It's laughable, like 50-year-old granddads and overweight couch potatoes sumoing each other. This show should have died in 2014, TBH. What a stupid, stupid, ignorant, dumb, stupid, schmucky statement. One of the dumbest statements, comments I've ever read about Impact Wrestling. This this jerk, this jerk doesn't even watch Impact Wrestling. Uh, yeah, because because Impact Wrestling has nothing but fifty year old granddads and and overweight couch potatoes sumoing each other. That that's 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 two hours of that. So you get two hours of of of, of just that fifty <laughs> two hours two two straight hours of fifty year old granddads and overweight couch potatoes sumoing each other. Yeah, that that that's all that's all Impact Wrestling is offering its fans these days. It's just don't make stupid comments if you're not watching the show. Seriously, especially especially comments like that. I, I puts up the comment. He probably thinks that you know. He probably thinks that everyone's gonna jump in, jump in, uh, and hit a, hit hit the like button like ten thousand times, and, and he's gonna get such. He's gonna get all these positive comments of people agreeing with him, uh, but nobody agreed with him. Yeah, and I, I I jumped in there and I said something, uh, but it's, it's he didn't respond. But it's, it's just don't make stupid comments. Don't make dumb comments about something you know nothing about. You know, I just it, it irritates the it irritates the hell out of me. It irritates the hell out of me, especially when it comes to Impact Wrestling, because I'm very passionate about Impact Wrestling. I love Impact Wrestling, and if people are gonna make stupid, dumb comments like this, you know, and see, he's, he's he saw the TNA belt and probably and he's he's thinks it's so called TNA. Yeah, you know, such such stupidity, such stupidity. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to touch on that, and um, that's it for me. That's it for me. Until next time, and don't forget, I got my uh, interview coming up uh, very soon uh, that I conducted recently with a uh, Desi Hit Squad member Rohit Raju. Uh, that'll be coming up um, uh, about a week or so, and I got a lot of other great stuff uh, coming up as well, and. Um, I just want to thank uh, everyone that's been listening up until this point. I just want to say thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I'll keep putting out the Impact Wrestling content because I love Impact Wrestling. So that said, I'm going to say thank you very much. This has been Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. We're heard right here on the Impact Lounge. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.